how's it going guys Ralph here and bro this video about about some things what you can do with the uh, blog beast you know <clears throat> how to how to change the the background and, and, the, and the banners and stuff so if you haven't checked it out yet or just been struggling or something you might find this uh, hopefully you will find this helpful so when you log in into your empower network back office basically the next thing you did just click on view edit my blog and let's do it so I will start with showing you some stuff so you see this little plus button over here it says customize blog so if you click on that one uh, it should pop up something like this so basically BG color is background color right you can this white stuff around it's not quite white because I have changed it a little bit but you can see the difference in this place so you can change over there button color probably the button color is these buttons you can change these buttons okay uh, the link color I would say those are the links in your blog post okay so I put in blue because I just I think everybody used to have blue <laughs> that's it uh, article options background color for article it's basically this place around around here okay and the next title of, of course is a title this one and title front font you can change and body font of course this one and all this this stuff uh, also the good stuff is very cool what is what has been made here is that if you change something and just click the save changes it updates the blog uh, like automatically just live you know you can see it uh, how it looks updated so you can you don't have to log in or log out like it was um, in previous one you know on the WordPress where you had to uh, the view your blog you know click click and then click on the link and then the the next window would open and you would see the changes or uh, you would have to refresh your screen all the time you know so that's pretty cool I see uh, the sidebar options well that's all about the sidebar you know I don't know if you put left let's say you see I click change and it's automatically goes over here so most of the people I think not used to it so I would just leave it this way and I've seen actually very rare, rarely you can see something like that so the next thing is navigation bar if you click on navigation bar so the branding is if you click off then this up here this gray gray line just basically disappears uh, the turn on blog search the blog search is basically it's over it should be over here just a search bar where you can type something and search for the specific article or article or something okay uh, this line goes for these buttons over here okay if you want to take them if you want to you can take them off whatever and the link one the link one actually I don't know I haven't put because I've left everything like or uh, like like it is was in the beginning so if someone clicks on on the banners it automatically is coded me and goes to the empower squeeze page so I I now think if you should if you're just starting you maybe it wouldn't be so so important at the beginning because you're collecting leads in your backups anyway uh, so SEO options let's check some SEO options okay that's basically about your website it's uh, not about specific posts or something but it's just you're branding your website I'm not sure I just put somewhere or something you know uh, have to figure out I believe there will be some more video tutorials how to do this like the proper way okay but well they're updating there isn't much info about it so and you can add here your Google Analytics just the code okay uh, the next stuff is footer data okay so in the footer basically the the thing what you should do basically about the footer right were pretty important I think if you want to collect leads of course is 
after these links over here you put question mark and then you put this sign i have no idea equals sign yeah and your empower network username so question mark equals sign your username so when someone clicks let's just scroll down come on don't do it to me so if someone clicks on these ones right the links and maybe want to see the earnings disclosure or something the cool stuff is that everything is tracked to you right so just just add stuff in the end for safety reasons i don't know uh let's go to the page customization well this one is basically you can edit your posts right you can also do it from from the back office if you click on view my activity feed and you will see your your blog feed over there and you can edit also there but you can do it also here so if you let's say click on the edit one you see uh here's the all the body stuff title right and also you can check the seo over here uh, the next step the custom domain okay so if you haven't add your custom domain what you gotta do is basically i will show you how to go how to connect your godaddy domain with this one if you're using something different then i won't be able to help you but oh go oh, sorry but i can show you how to do it with godaddy go daddy go daddy Come on. so let's go to my accounts i haven't been prepared for this video so i just do everything on autopilot and now so something like this okay so you create first what you do is create create your account of course you buy a domain name and then you hit on your visit my account so the next thing what you do is you just find the domain and click on the launch button this takes quite a long time right uh, then you just choose the domain if you have multiple choose the one you want to connect with your empower network blog so let's i have i have one for this particular stuff and we have to click on this one d dns zone files okay let's click over here and you you can see all kind of crazy stuff over here okay so next what you do is click on the edit button click on the edit button okay so now you have clicked on the edit button you have to go back to your empower empower blog okay and Mm, I have already created okay I will just remove it I will show you how to do it so I just remove okay so what you do is enter the domain name you plan using so mine is like so this is why what I bought all right to work with Ralph's Glove okay and just click the next so here you have two stuff you will have to have basically first is c name and the second is c name value so what you do first is just click this uh, copy the c name all right you copy it and then you go back to your back godaddy back office right and over here you click on this oh yeah over here so you will have something like this and you have to find this section will say www right and the other section will say just the at sign you know so what you do is you click on this little pen over here and you copy your 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 domain you know mine is work with blah 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 dot com right and you hit the enter button and over here the next one you will copy the c name value okay so I already have it so it's let's recopy and make sure you don't have the let you see in the end there's a there's a dot make sure you take it off uh, there are some some services domain services that that asks for that dot right but GoDaddy 
doesn't need it so just hit on enter and make sure to save zone file okay so we got something like this we click it and it's, it has been saved over here right you will you will see www nothing there and your cna value so next thing which you do is just click on verify custom domain it shouldn't take long it says like 20 30 40 something minutes but basically every time i try to do this is like a couple of seconds actually so we can check it is it working yes perfect you see so it wasn't that hard okay so next thing after you finish this one basically i showed you how to how to deal with navigation bar and everything you can add a new blog and basically what the, it means that brand new blog with brand new domain right brand new basically brand new blog so you can have as much blogs as you want and as many domains with as many domains as you want so that's i think that's super cool uh, the next thing you can change also these banners of course you can click on edit upload you can change the banners just click on this one and you can upload here from your computer right if you click on it it will open basically the window just find the picture you want to upload then you can add a title and when someone clicks on it this is a destination url when someone clicks on the banner where will that person be taken you know and the same sorry the same stuff you can do it with sidebar banner change over here do the same stuff okay and i guess i basically yeah and the same with the with this banner below so that's about it about customization you see that's super simple right uh I remember how it was with WordPress just to change something you had to, you have to like click through and it was actually pretty slow the the thing that I hated the most about WordPress it was pretty slow because I'm kind of, I need fast I I need everything fast you know so I hate these this waiting so this is like super cool fast and easy you know and you don't need any any the touch skills for this one you know you don't to add the banner you don't have to go into widgets and search for html code you know and that kind of stuff so if you enjoyed this video guys make sure you share it and leave me a comment below i will also somewhere put my put my facebook facebook link add me on facebook you know uh let's connect and get some let's chat or something you know so and basically yeah see you in the next video guys Peace.